What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Viper Toads Garage. On today's episode, we're going to be putting a Corsa exhaust on our new 2022 Escalade. Let's do it. All right guys, so here's the Corsa exhaust. Came super nicely boxed. I already took out some of the styrofoam that was sitting on top, but everything's nice and shiny. All stainless steel tubing, mandrel bends. This is a three and a half inch exhaust system. This is their sport exhaust system. I know they offer extreme exhaust systems for some other vehicles, but for the 22 Escalade, they only have sport right now. And honestly, from listening to videos and sound clips of others that have the system, the sport is more than loud enough. Uh, it, should be, it should be quite loud once it's finished. And here she is, our new 2022 Cadillac Escalade Sport. We just had this entire thing wrapped in Avery satin black. It looks super mean. I installed lowering links on it yesterday. Uh, this is in, it's in high suspension mode right now. And then also we, um, I disabled the air suspension so that it doesn't go up or down while I'm installing the exhaust. Uh, but when this thing is in low, it is super slammed. It's funny on the stock wheels how much they tuck in. And uh, when it's up in the high stance, they don't look too bad. But when you when you slam it down, they tuck in like crazy. And you can see just how aggressive you can go on the fitment on the new wheels. Uh, I do have some 24 inch wheels on the way uh, from my company, VT Forged. Uh, they're gonna be two piece wheels, matte black face, gloss black lips, and they're gonna have uh, uh, bronze hardware and bronze three piece caps. So it's gonna look super killer. I want to give you guys a quick cold start here. I know it's already up on the up on the ramp and backed in, but here we go. As you can tell, super tame. I mean, you can tell it's a V8, but there's absolutely no kind of grunt, rumble, nothing like that. Here, I'm gonna turn it off before it gets too hot. I want to keep that exhaust nice and cold for the install. I don't want to burn my hands. Uh, but yeah, it's super quiet right now. Uh, the course is gonna really wake her up. Can't wait to get it done and uh, let's get this install started. Also, I'm sure you guys noticed, I switched up my camera setup. I used to use a DJI, uh, DJI Osmo action cam, basically like a GoPro. Uh, this is now a Sony ZV-1. Uh, what I like about this camera is it's supposed to focus on me, kind of blurs out the background, but yet still has a great shot when you're doing overall, just walking around, car shows, stuff like that. So. Kind of give this camera a try. Let me know what you think of it down in the comments, whether you like it or switch back to uh, GoPro style. Kind of just trying to see which one I like better for the channel. All right, guys, so we're under the 22 Escalade. We got the tail end section removed. So as you can see, it just has these fake tips right here and then the pipe just slides into each and then uh, it's a Y that goes into one. Uh, right up it right up into there uh, pretty easy to remove the back piece probably took about 20 minutes Here's that back piece that we removed so it just has a hanger on each side and then two bolts right up there I was able to hit it with the uh, the, imp the little 3 8 inch um, cordless impact so so far so good All right guys continuing with the escalate exhaust this is their removal of the factory system. So as you can see, got it all out. This is where it connects to the factory. Uh, they call it the head pipe. So obviously those are the factory cats. They come into one pipe here, and then this is where the course is gonna connect to. And that's gonna be all new piping all the way back. So time to get started on the new course install. All right guys, so we got the Corsa fully finished up on the 22 Escalade Sport, as you can see. So, see so it kind of inserts into the factory bezels there. Goes all the way back. It's like a Y down here. And then there's that giant shiny muffler you can see. It's got all the Corsa goodies in it. That's what makes a Corsa a Corsa. So, I'm gonna tidy everything up and then I'll let you guys uh, hear it for the first time. All right guys, so the Escalade is all done back in the garage. Uh, I'm gonna let it cool down a little bit. I'm gonna go get some lunch and then I'll give you guys a, uh, hopefully a somewhat cold start. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's gonna be like an hour or two. I'll let it cool down a little bit and then I'll give you guys a little cold start and uh, see if we have time to go for a drive to kind of hear how it sounds inside. But man, just moving it around, it sounded absolutely epic. I didn't hear any exhaust leaks, so that's a great sign. And uh, yeah, just super happy so far with the sound. Uh, can't wait for you guys to hear it. All right, guys, so gonna do a cold start here on the Escalade. She's been in the garage for a couple hours, so hopefully it does a, 
a good bit of a cold start. So this is now with the Corsa Sport exhaust installed on our 22 Escalade Sport. Here we go. see it quiets down quite a bit there but that cold start sounded nasty I'm gonna have a uh, I'm gonna put up a before video as well here so you guys can hear what it sounded like but I mean it was really quiet with the stock exhaust this is a huge difference for this car and this has the 6.2 v8 in it so all right guys here she is in full this is our 2022 Cadillac Escalade Sport uh, we bought this car out of uh, just outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. It has only 2,000 miles on it. Uh, this one has the touring package. Um, it has the night vision, so it's pretty well loaded. And uh, yeah, just going to make for a killer daily driver for my wife. Pick the kids up from school, take them to swim, wherever they need to go. So... We're gonna see. Uh, we're gonna see how much she likes it. If she loves this thing, uh, we might throw a Whipple on it. I'm still kind of iffy on that. Uh, obviously, I just did the Corsa exhaust. We wrapped it in Avery satin black. It's got the switch suspension lowering links on it, sitting absolutely slammed right now. So this is in the the lowest position. This is in the entry exit position. Uh, once you actually get in the car and start driving, it'll it'll lift itself up and kind of sit a little bit higher, but. This is the lowest position that it's set at. I might lift the front up just a hair, but honestly, I think once the 24s are on it, it's just gonna look, it's gonna look perfect at this height. Not too worried about it. But man, this thing just looks gorgeous. I love the color and the gloss black grill, how everything's either, you know, satin black or gloss black. It just looks super, super mean. Cadillac did an outstanding job on these. Let's go for a ride and you guys can hear what the exhaust sounds like inside. Another super cool feature I forgot to show you guys. So this one has the automatic running board. So as soon as you open the door, running boards come out. Uh, it also has the Cadillac Crest puddle lights. So at night, it'll uh, put the Cadillac logo on the ground. And then all of the side sills are illuminated with Escalade. So that's pretty sick too. All right guys, so we're cruising in the 2022 Escalade. Give a little bit of gas. You could really hear that exhaust out back, uh, more so than I thought you'd be able to. I mean, usually Cadillac's known for, you know, being very quiet, really smooth inside. But man, uh, this is my first drive with the exhaust, and it just sounds super throaty, super mean. And I'm sure outside the car, it sounds ten times as loud. So far, I'm loving it. Uh, this is also my first drive on the lowering links, and so far, this thing is super smooth. Um, obviously, you could feel a little bit more of the bumps and everything in the road, but uh, you know, for as heavily lowered as it is, it rides great. All right, let's turn, and now we're gonna, here, I'll give it like half gas. sounds wicked Corsa did an incredible job with this system by the way it was like the easiest install of all time I spent maybe two and a half hours in the garage and that was taking my time and marking everything making sure everything is perfectly lined up as it should be I mean if you know now that I've already done one I could probably knock the next one out in maybe an hour hour and a half it was super super simple install so if you're on the fence about buying one and doing it yourself I highly recommend it it was pretty fun and uh, and super easy. Sounds great inside. This is how they should have come from the factory. 
Oh man, that 6.2 V8 is just, it's its so awesome in this thing. Now, it could definitely use a blower on it. I'm, I'm very heavily debating doing a Whipple on this thing. Um, I'll probably make the decision here within the next few days, but man, this thing, just begging for a Whipple. If I had that noise out back and then a Whipple blower whine on the front, it would be absolutely perfect. It'd be like heaven. Now I wanna show you guys what I'm seeing. So if you've never driven the new Escalade, this is super sick. So this is like a full camera of the road in front of you. And then also, I'm sure, I don't know if you guys can see or not, but it's got a heads up display, of course. Um, but this camera right here with the night vision at night, it lights up everything for you. So you fully see everything that's going on. Uh, any little you know thing that's going on in the road that your headlights might not catch, the night vision will catch. This looks super sick when you're driving. Like, I can't even explain how cool this dash looks. And then, um, so the whole dash is one digital screen. Over here you have like a mini screen on the left, you have your main dash screen, and then you have all of your infotainment over here on the, le on the right. Um, it just looks super seamless and, and really, really nice. I love what Cadillac did on the interior of these. Um, all the buttons are down there, the, even the shifter, it literally looks like a, like a BMW M style shifter. So Bravo Cadillac, again, you guys did an incredible job. I love the sports have the black uh, gloss, uh, gloss black wood trim. So it's like, a, I don't know, it kind of looks like a midnight, midnight kind of trim. It's really dark but looks really good. One of the reasons I didn't go with a Sport Platinum Escalade is because a lot of the Sport Platinums have that orangey brown wood inside and I just don't want to wrap the entire interior. So nice thing about the Sports is they all come with this dark wood trim and uh, it looks great. It's not something that I feel needs to be changed. It looks really, really nice in this thing. All right guys, sitting at a light. So again, I'm just gonna show you guys the interior here. Um, it has ambient lighting that goes all throughout, so right above the aluminum trim, um, and you can change the color of it, and it goes all along the dash and into that door. It looks incredible at night, and you can make it any color you want, blue, purple, red, whatever. All right, let's get on it a little bit again. Sounds great, man. Absolutely wicked sounding. Loving the exhaust system. And such a smooth ride. Kind of what Cadillac's known for, right? Just an incredible ride. All right guys, so now we got the windows open and we're gonna do a little, give it a little gas here. Sounds pretty similar uh, with the windows open as it does close just because you're so far away from the back of the car that it's not like it's, you know, it's really making the noise, uh, it's not really orchestrating the noise up here. Um, I think most of the noise you're hearing com is coming through the trunk anyways. So uh, yeah, having windows down doesn't really make it any louder. So that's gonna conclude today's video. Uh, we did the ride along in the Escalade, we put the exhaust on it, I let you guys hear it, and we did a walk around of it. Uh, in the next video of this specific car, I'm probably going to be showing you guys the new 24 inch wheels that are coming, which are the VT Forged, uh, I think that's the RST12 that I'm doing on this. It's their two piece, matte black face, gloss black lips, and uh, my wife wanted bronze hardware specifically, so it's gonna have bronze hardware and it's gonna have bronze three piece caps. So it's gonna be a super sick looking setup. This thing's just gonna be murdered out. And I uh, can't wait to show you guys, so tune in to the next video of this Escalade. Uh, until then, thanks guys for watching. See you next time, bye.